Hi, and welcome to the Health Begins with Moms show. I am Dorit Pavanov, your host. On this podcast, I will share insights and interviews on health, parenting, and explore the question of what does it take to thrive as women, wives, and mothers. Now, let's get going with today's episode. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Health Begins With Mom podcast. This is Dorit Palvanov, your host. And welcome to day number four of the challenge that is designed to take women from this place of feeling like you're completely sucked dry, like you're just not feeling like yourself, like you used to be, and um, help you feel stronger, more confident, more alive, more energized, and more even, and even sexier as a woman, wife, and a mother. And today we are almost done with the challenge. Today was day number four out of five days. And today uh, it was all about talking um, and and training you and explaining you what you already know. (laughs) And what you already know is that as a human being, um, you were encoded and designed for to need sleep and rest now i talked about the fact that as busy moms it's tricky for us to get sleep and rest um but uh i've shared uh some ideas on how i do this in my busy life because you know i'm in the trenches right there with you i'm also a mom i have three young kids i'm also a wife and so um i guess the point that i really want to um for you to grab to grasp from this training today that you will be listening to is to start prioritizing sleep and taking it more seriously okay so this is what i have for you today uh this short this training was the shortest of uh, out out of all because again you already know this um however i did want to make sure that you listen to it one more time as a reminder and also I explained how and why women need more sleep than men and you know I got into some research on this topic Um, so hopefully this will serve you if you um, don't have yet downloaded if you haven't yet downloaded the female daily tracking sheet I highly encourage you to head on over to www.healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash challenge Uh, you can even uh, pause this training as I'm talking right now go to this site and and register make sure you put your name and email and click join the challenge even if it's already day number four uh, I still want you to uh, join the challenge so that you can get the the free copy of the female daily tracking sheet and um, and start implementing, start using it. And uh, based on the information that I've been sharing here um, over at the podcast. So without further ado, let's jump right into challenge day number four and the training. Enjoy. We are live. Hi, Facebook. Hi, Instagram. And again, I say this every single time. If you see me flipping back and forth, it's because I am flipping between Facebook. This is my Facebook page and this is Instagram. And if you see me um, looking down, that's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I am looking in my notes and keeping myself on track, okay? So welcome for those of you who are slowly joining. Just give me one sec to share this video inside of the Facebook, inside of my Facebook group, Busy Moms Get Healthy, as well as on my personal timeline, because you never know where people want to to watch this video from, right? So I want to make sure that it's available everywhere. Okay, so this is inside of the group. hear me again from two different places 
For now, grab yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee and make sure you have the female daily tracking sheet a new brand new sheet and we will get started in just a minute okay cool all right so this is awesome and then the next one will go to my timeline awesome okay that's it done 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 all right I'm gonna turn this off okay so lady my love it's so nice to meet you if we're meeting for the first time my name is Dorit Palvinov I am a wife I am a mama of three girls I am also a registered holistic nutritionist and I am also a female desire coach and I work with mothers who want to improve their libido and bring their desire for sex back after having children um, and I just I take what I do is I take them from feeling suck dry and blah and like you know the, the sex is, is the last thing on their priority list and I help them to start prioritizing it better and I take them from this place of feeling suck dry to feeling stronger more confident more energized and sexier after having kids and welcome to day number four no that's not four this is four <laughs> day number four of the five of the free five day challenge that is designed to take you from that place from that place of feeling like you're suck dry to feeling stronger more confident more energized and sexier as a wife as a woman wife and a mother and you guys we're almost done tomorrow is the very very last day and finally tomorrow after you know keeping this almost like a secret it wasn't really a secret you knew it's coming but tomorrow i will finally um tell you much much more about the feminine current course i will open the doors for registration so if this is something you knew and you have a soul ache that tells you yes yes you need to do this you need to learn how to um how to live your life in a flow and do it in a play in a in a, an environment of you know other women and in a way that it's fun not only you know to feel like you're obligated to do something but actually to do it in a fun environment um i'm i cannot wait to share more about this with you so tell me um you know let me know in the comment section below if you've been following along from the very beginning day number one we spoke about the we started tracking your food so i'm just gonna take the sheet again so what you're gonna start doing is always the date and then you will tell me or yourself where you're at you're at um in terms of your menstrual cycle you're gonna tick off whatever phase it is and then you're gonna say which day so I actually started my menstruation today. I started my bleed today. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's for, just for women. So I hope I hope you will understand. Um, so, so for me, I am in my menstrual cycle, and this is day one for me. Um, in terms of food, I had some water with uh, with some supplements. I had a, a yoga class today. I had a, I had another cup of water. I had a um, a watermelon. And I had a whole grain toast with some cod liver and banana. So that was my breakfast. Um, I woke up with high energy today. So we're moving on into the inner circle. So higher high energy. I was actually surprised that um, um, I had a lot of energy during my uh, yoga class today. So I was proud of myself. Usually when I um, when I menstruate, I don't have uh, you know that much of energy. Um, and also today we are adding on the this column which is all about sleep and rest and restoration for you um, for you as a woman as a wife and as a mother so that you know how rest and and rejuvenation what role this plays in your overall health okay so for me I slept seven hours tonight was un uninterrupted sleep was pretty solid um 
tonight my husband uh, decided to sleep in the basement, so I had the entire bed for myself. So go figure, maybe it played the role <laughs> in, you know, in the smoothness of my sleep. But that's how it's done, okay? Uh, I want you to start asking yourself this question. How am I feeling so far? Um, how is it going with the female daily tracking sheet? Am I, are you noticing any aha moments? Are you noticing any new connections uh, between what you eat, how you feel, um, where you're at, um, you know, which day of the cycle of your menstrual cycle are you on? All of these things, they're important. These are the clues, the pieces that make the you know that puzzle the whole puzzle of who you are so don't ignore like we talked about the about this in the previous days do not ignore this information so um before we begin if you can please give this video a thumbs up uh and maybe even a heart this way the facebook algorithms and the instagram also algor algorithms will help this this video to be boosted up and be seen by more women who need to, to hear this information. So by you know giving it a like, and even if you can to share it, that would be amazing. Um, this way you will be helping another mom who needs that kind of help and also me. And thank you so much. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, okay. So like I said, we're going to be talking about the fourth female marker and that is sleep. So for moms, <laughs> sleep is really like a catch 22. On the one hand, um, you know, uh, hormonal changes can definitely disrupt sleep. I mean, if you've heard um, women with hot flashes and we with PMS, and also you know when when they're when we bleed, there are some discomforts. So all of these um, discomforts that result due to um, hormonal changes obviously disrupt the sleep, but on the other hand, sleep deprivation can affect hormonal levels in, you know, a sleepless, vicious cycle. So it's like, we don't really know where it ends and where it begins. But the point is to remember that sleep is important. Again, just like as women, we are encoded to have a period to, to menstruate. We are also as human beings are encoded for sleep. And so if you are not giving this to yourself, don't be surprised that you will, you know, you will have some symptoms and your body is, is going to complain. Okay. And that complaining will be through various kinds of symptoms and signs and signals and aches and pains and ailments and so on and so forth. So this is another thing that as a human being, you were encoded for, you were designed to sleep and rest. And so please don't ignore it. Now, I know that as busy moms, this is, it sounds, you know, it sounds nice, but it's not always available. Believe me, I've been there. I have three kids. Um, and so today we're going to talk a little bit more about how to actually make this happen. So stay tuned. So like I said, you will see in the bottom left corner um, that you can write uh, how many hours you slept last night and that's basically all you need to do you need to write how many hours you slept last night and whether your slept was solid or broken or anything you know if it was was interrupted by a kid who whatever you need to provide this kind of information so that you have those pieces to understand you know this puzzle much better uh, and by the way if you haven't signed up for the challenge yet officially um, make sure you do that right away. We are day four today. Tomorrow is the last day, but you can still participate. You can still get access to the female daily tracking sheet. And so you have to head on over to www.healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash challenge. And when you scroll down, there is a place where you can put your name and email and click join the challenge. And when you do so, I will email you a copy of this sheet along with instructions on how to participate in the challenge. And, um, and that's it. Um, you know, you, you're welcome to go back and listen to all the lessons and all the training material, which you can find over at my Facebook page. So for Instagram, for those of you who are seeing this on Instagram, um, on Instagram, it's only, unfortunately, it's only available for 24 hours, but this content will live forever, hopefully on my uh, Facebook page. So Dorit at health begins with mom. That's the name of my Facebook page. So head on over there and you can find all the content, all the previous content. 
You know, I, I want you to have this, like, I, I know how that feels, you know, when you see an expert uh, asking you to print off sheets um, and you're reluctant, I still want you to pass through this resistance because I want you to have the full experience. Without this, this is just noise and this is just another lady talking to you about health. But when you actually take action and and work along together with me, this is where you are actually going to reap the benefits for yourself. So I want you to get the full experience and make sure you have this sheet printed. All right, so like I said, the, pain, the, sleep, the, the topic of sleep is really painful for us moms. Um, you know, I, I, we just had some friends over, also a young family with two uh, young kids, and they, uh, one of them told me that once you become a parent, you basically can never sleep again like you used to. And it's so true, I, I really also resonate with it. Um, I remember my husband even told me um, that once he became a dad, it's like there was a switch that came off and he just, he just cannot drop into that, you know, the, the teenage sleep that you can sleep for hours and hours without being interrupted and a train can pass by you and you wouldn't even hear it. <laughs> so goodbye to that with parenting and motherhood, right? So we all have it. It's, it's very similar for, for a lot of us. Um, and for some of us, loss of sleep actually started even before you know, kids came into the picture. So I remember myself, I used to wake up at least six times. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. Six times at night to pee. And, and then until I found the right position to sleep um, with this huge belly, um, it was time to get up again. So it was, you know, it's tough. Sleep is a complicated and complex um, topic for us moms. We all want it. We know we need it. But for some reason, we are not getting it. So, um, it is challenging, especially when children are young, to get, you know, that seven to eight um, hours of sleep daily. I understand that it is challenging. Hopefully, after today's uh, training session, you will get some ideas, some of the things that I do. But the point is, I want you to prioritize sleep. This is important, okay? Don't just say, well, you know what? Now that the kids are young and that's the season of my life, let me just suck it up and you just go through this time. No, I want you to, to, to actually enjoy every year of your life, no, regardless of the season. And I also, also want you to enjoy your children's childhood, right? I mean, we all say this, they grow so fast. So why are we doing this to ourselves? And I do believe that this is something that we choose to do so. This is a, be, this is a behavior that we choose to, to, to act on, um, maybe unconsciously, but, but the, this happens because we are just conditioned for this, right? It's not because that's how you are or that's who you are. It's because that's the conditioning. That's the conditional, conditioning of this culture. Once you become a mom, um, once you become a parent, it's no longer it's no longer about you. It is about those little kids and, and keeping them alive and making sure they have food and clothing and everything they need to the point that you're completely forgetting yourself. And you know, I've talked about this many, many times over this challenge. This is not uh, sustainable for them and for you. So we need to find a way that we can set up, create a, a life that feels good for all of us, not just for the kids and, you know, not just for the house, but also for us, for you, the mama, <laughs> the busy mom who, let's face it, you are the one behind it all and you are the one who is running the show. So I want the producer or the project manager um, to be happy too because you deserve it. I deserve it. We all deserve it. Okay, so, um, so did you know this? That was that was a very uh, interesting piece of data, data. Did you know that women need more sleep than men? Yes, it's true. You can go ahead and tell this to your hubby, <laughs> who from probably will go on Google and start, you know seeing if this is the truth. So according to a recent sleep science article published in the Daily Mail, an average woman needs 20 more minutes of sleep than a man. And the reason for that is because as women, 
our brain is designed very much very differently than the the male's brain so think about it for yourself um when you when you show up in your life right when you're um you know taking care of the kids and and having your you know your work and you need you know you have those many many different pieces that um you know throughout your day different things to attend to the way we women um work the way our brain works is we can be everywhere at the same time because we have this ability to multi multitask whereas if it's a man they don't have that ability or if they do it's a very it's much much uh less efficient than ours they can only focus on one thing at a time that is the difference like in short between the male brain and the female brain now because of that what happens is that if you have that ability to multitask that means that you, that we women that you and i we are using our brain more than a man on an average right more than our husbands because of that ability to multitask um and that leads to a greater need for sleep right so basically the more you use your brain during the day the more it needs to rest uh while you are asleep makes total sense right awesome also there is this beautiful book by ariana huffington and it's called the sleep revolution where she really talks about the problem of sleep deprivation for women as well as the solution that she offers ariana is one of the top um you know business women in us she is actually the woman behind uh huffington.com i think it has many different extensions but if you've heard of this uh, website it's owned by her and she was sharing the story of how um you know she's an an ambitious woman and she wanted to and she was a very uh, career oriented woman and i think she also has kids um two daughters if i'm not mistaken and one day she uh had a very severe accident that due to sleep deprivation right because who has time to sleep um she fell and injured her head severely and that led her uh the recovery was very very long and that led her to look at sleep and our need for sleep from a completely different angle okay so even women like Ari Ariana are talking about um you know that the fact that sleep is a no negotiable it's not one of those thing one of those things like sex by the way that is nice to have <laughs> it is a, 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 a human necessity that we have as humans as well as women in uh, you know in general so she claims that women's sleep is the next feminist issue uh arguing that their lack of sleep affects our judgment our creativity and our ability to realize our full potential as women i 100% agree as <laughs> as a recovering sleep deprived mama So the point is that sleep is a necessity and I want you to start prioritizing it. Cool? Awesome. And once you do, then it is easy, easier to take action on it because once you say this matters, this matters to me, it matters to my health, it mat my health, it matters to how I'm showing up in a, in the day um as a woman as a wife and as a mother um as an employee as a boss it doesn't matter as a friend um you know in order for me to do all the things that i want to do um i need to take care of myself and those are those basic things so i remember here's an example of how my husband and i um were able to navigate the sleep situation in our household. So, my husband and I had many many conversations uh about this topic. Um it was really ex it was really hard for us in the beginning because my husband's motto for rest and sleep and life in general is sleep is for the dead. Well, I'll sleep when I'm in the in the grave. <laughs> and I wholeheartedly and lovingly disagree. And now I understand now that I actually have the the research and the data for it now I understand why he doesn't have that need for sleep the way I do. It's because 
he just his body first of all his body is on a 24 day cycle mine is on a 30 day cycle so my body requires more sleep in order to um, restore my hormones and also my brain works differently we're wired differently than I am wired differently than him and as a result I need to um, you know I just need more sleep um, and so because I knew uh, that I need sleep and I've seen what how I am when I don't get it um, I asked for it I asked for it and that's what I encourage each one of my clients to do you ask for it you don't just swallow it and shove it down no it's a need you need it you ask for it maybe you know maybe you can't ask your husband maybe you need to, to ask somebody else but really the, the point here is you need it and you take action on it and you communicate it you communicate it okay so what we did is we rotated sleep um, I slept for a couple of hours while he watched the kids and then I did the same for him you know he would go to rest and I stayed with the kids and that's how it was for many 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 years still to this day where we we have some sort of a rotation not as much anymore because our kids our oldest uh, our oldest kids are already old enough to to take care of themselves but when the kids were really really young that's what we did that's how we managed sleep that's how I made sure that I slept and he made sure that he slept as well and when my kids were really, really little, other than my husband, I asked my mom, I asked my mother-in-law, I asked my sisters. Sometimes I paid for babysitting. It was very rare, but I did that too. Uh, I asked people to come by and stay with the baby um, or just take them for a walk while I sleep. I didn't do the laundry. I didn't uh, clean the house, although I was very tempted to do so, but I would just crawl into bed and I would rest. Even if it was a power nap of 20 minutes, it was so healing and so nurturing and so nourishing for me that I, I just asked for it. Simple as that. You ask for what you need. <laughs> okay, so I know that it, this sounds like a waste of time because there's, there are always things that you need to do around the house, but... As I had more kids, you know, one kid is different than two kids and three kids is different than two um, and so on and so forth, right? And so the more kids I had, the more sleep I actually needed um, and it was no longer just for fun. It was really, you know, I, I needed to make sure that I get those hours so that I can function, so that I can be with them, so that I can cook so that I can you know use the knife in a safe way and and all those things and and it's important for me and also for you so like I said the problem with the sleep is not only because of the kids although that is a huge huge reason right why uh, why us mothers um, are chronically sleep deprived and another reason is that we have this issue that we are staying up too late because we crave time by ourselves um with ourselves and as a result what we do is we scroll on social media for hours and hours we watch netflix um or we do other things that uh we can can't otherwise do during the day and i get it i really understand i mean i'm in it with you i'm in the trenches right there with you i get it um the reason we do this is because we just want our time back. We want our previous life back. However, what the way I like to think of it is from like a different angle is that you are also responsible for resting and helping your body to restore so that it can take care of you the next day. I tell this to my husband all the time, who is right here. <laughs> that sleep is not something that you can sacrifice to get some things done or to catch up on things because what what this will do it's it's going to affect your performance and your how you feel the next day so basically what you're doing is you're, you're sacrificing two hours 
um, of the night, one of the time for the time that you're supposed to be sleeping. And then what you're doing is the entire rest of day, the next day is going to be basically, um, you're going to be at maybe 50%, maybe, I think much lower, but at least 50. Um, right. So if you are, for example, falling asleep and I've had clients like these who are falling asleep while driving or forgetting to put the car gear in the parking, in parking, and as a result, the car slides off the driveway when you're stepping out, lady, you have a serious sleep deprivation problem. This is not healthy and this is not safe. And I don't want you to ignore this stuff, okay? This is not safe to you. This is not safe to anyone who is in the car with you. And it's also not safe for people on the street, right? Uh, because you're most likely to make mistakes when you're tired. So I don't want you to do that. Um, you know, you're more likely to sleep and fall or cut yourself when you're chopping vegetables or forget to fasten the straps of your baby's high chair. Like all of those things, they could happen when you are sleep deprived. I mean, we've all heard these stories of moms, you know, these poor moms who are forgetting their kids in 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 the car seat in the, you know, in the in the summertime and even in the winter time. That happens because of this kind of um, because of that kind of state, you know, being in that state of feeling sucked dry for way too long and not having, you know, not asking for help or not even having somebody to ask for help. It is a serious problem. It is a serious health problem. And we need to do something about this. We need to do something about this. Nobody is going to come one day, knock on your door and say, Dory, honey, Oh my gosh, I know you haven't slept for so many, you know, so many days. Let me stay with the, with your baby while you go and rest. Nobody's going to do that. And so we have to advocate for ourselves, show up for ourselves, choose ourselves, prioritize ourselves, and then take action that will help us to get to where we need to go. Okay. Like, I know that you are responsible and you would never drive your child after drinking a few cups of wine but yet we drive our kids daily while we are exhausted. Think about that, okay? So I know, like I said, I know that what I'm asking for might sound absurdly unrealistic to you, but I would like for you to consider otherwise. Remember that you are in control of your life and not the other way around, okay? You are choosing how your life will look like. So yes, you might have a child that wakes multiple times at night, but why do you stay up late to fold the laundry? I remember I did that. Why? <laughs> the kids asleep and that means that you need to sleep as well. Period. Okay? Studies show another study. Studies show that insufficient sleep is connected to poor performance at work, to obesity, to diabetes, to excessive risk-taking behavior, and also heart disease and many, many other ailments. Um, so, you know, this is not just a question of, um, you know, should I get sleep or not? This is actually a health issue that needs to be addressed. So not only that, not only that, but if you're tired and barely functioning, your fam your entire family will feel it. And I think you know how that feels, right? So take naps during the day when possible catch up on sleep on weekends, take turns with your husband like I do, um, sleep train your child. I know this is such a huge topic, but do so. If your child is not a good sleeper, then hire somebody who is a professional who can help you tackle this problem. I've sleep trained all of my kids and please don't send me any messages. Don't, um, you know, <laughs> I know this is such a, um, it's a complex, uh, it's a complex uh, situation where some people are for it, some people are against. I am 100% for sleep training. So if you need to sleep train your child, if this has been going on for way too long, then this needs to be addressed, okay? So take it seriously. Get yourself to bed before 10 p.m. 10 p.m. is the cutoff. Go to bed. You need to be sleeping by 10 p.m., okay? The bottom line, the bottom line, like I said, is take sleep more seriously. Um, and some, 
some solu some advice for you, some tips in terms of like how to make your your bed your bedtime more um, sustainable in a way that will actually stick. Create a soothing nighttime routine and allow yourself at least one hour or at least 30 minutes to unwind because it's really hard to put the kids to bed and then go to bed yourself. You know, you need this transition period before you actually fall, fall asleep, you know, in a calm state. So what I do is, you know, I take a bath or maybe a hot shower, mostly hot showers right before I go to bed. I read a good novel. Um, sometimes I connect with my husband, we engage in intimacy um, and we do things, other things to, to relax. Um, but by all means, please uh, avoid scrolling on social media, avoid checking your email before you go to bed and avoid working late into the night, into the night, unless this is, you know, one off kind of thing, um, that's fine. But if this is something that you do every day, just to make sure, you know, you get things done, this is not a sustainable way to live. And one day it will, it will bite, bite you in the butt. I'm sorry to say it, it's just the truth. Okay. Keep your also keep your electronics outside of the bedroom. Uh, make sure you're charging your phone at, uh, not in your bedroom. Uh, if you need to charge it, you can charge it in the hallway or maybe even in the bathroom. Um, but the best would be, of course, to leave it downstairs. And your bedroom should be a sacred chamber reserved only for two things two things. Okay. Rest and sex. And that's it. Nothing else in the bedroom. This is your sacred space. This is the space where you connect and engage in intimacy with your husband. This is where you're having sex. This is when, where this is time for you, for both of you. So make, uh, this space, you know, really fun um, decorate it the way you like it, you know, make it cozy, make it smell nice. But this is space, this space is only reserved for rest, restoration, and also intimacy and sex. Okay. What we mothers need to remember is that if we want to be productive for those 16 hours a day that we have, that when, that we are awake, we need to sleep the other eight. Okay. We need sleep. And of course, I get much deeper into the topic of sleep and I, and I actually work with each one, with each client uh, in terms of suggestions and, and I hold you accountable um, because it depends, you know, everybody's life is different. Um, but if you are in the situation where you're like, Dorit, sleep is impossible for me right now, I, I really doubted like it cannot be there's always something that you can do and so make sure that you know if this is a big issue in your life is sleep um deprivation is a huge issue in your life then you need to be in this program so that we can finally once and for all tackle it and get it out of the way okay you need to be sleeping for at least seven to eight hours at night for sure by 10 p.m you need to be in bed okay for now, all I want you to do is just start putting the pieces of the puzzles together, start recording how off, how many hours you slept each night. If you are noticing um, over a long period of time, if there is a consistent pattern of less than seven or maybe even six hours of sleep at night, then you can start seeing the connection between your gain, your weight gain and your inability to lose the weight, even though you're eating well, and even though you're exer exercising and doing quote, you know, quote unquote, all the right things in the, in the gym, um, maybe you will see some, some, some skin issues, some, you know, your health, hair is falling out, um, thyroid dysfunction, like all those things, then you can start asking yourself, Oh my goodness, I haven't been sleeping for the past however years. And maybe as a result, that is why my body is manifesting those symptoms. Okay. So you've been tracking your, your female markers for the past four day now, four days now. I want you to be more intentional. I want you to actually own it more. What are you noticing? What are you seeing? What is different? What are your 
you know, ahas, what are the new realizations that you have? Um, have you, uh, have, how are the choices of food, your energy levels, your hormones and lack of sleep, how are all these connected? How are these connected for you? This is a very important question to, uh, to ask yourself. Can you see how all of these female markers work synergistically, right? So like I said, let's say the example of the losing weight, right? You can sign up to the best gym in, ta gym in town and you can, you know, work with a personal trainer and you can eat, you know, very, very healthfully. But if you're not sleeping, it's not going to work. You know, all this money and effort and energy is just going to be wasted. You're going to be frustrated. You're not going to be getting what the results that you are looking for. So as a woman, we need to make sure that these six markers are um, looked after so that we can get the health results results that we are looking for, right? Can you see that even um, if you eat well, exercise regularly, keep track of your cycle and do all the things right, you won't see results unless you get proper rest at night. That's how it works, right? Sleep is when your body restores Sleep is when your organs repair and rejuvenate. Sleep is when your brain rests. Sleep is when your nervous system repairs. Sleep is when your hormones reset. Sleep is important. Sleep matters for you as a female, so start prioritizing it, right? Awesome, so now you can start tracking your sleep as well and see the picture of your health much, much clearer, okay? Um, okay, I said that already, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you need to sleep. If you wanna see results, you need to sleep. And that's it, that's what I have for you for today. Tomorrow is the last day of the challenge and we will finish the last two female markers. Tomorrow is going to be super, super interesting and juicy. We're going to be talking about libido, so your sex drive and elimination. So your um, the need of you or the need of the female body to eliminate toxins in, in, a, in an efficient way so that, again, this, you know, so that your health will look much, much, much better. So all of this is really amazing stuff. Um, I'll also, of course, share more details about the Feminine Current course, which, are, which is going to be open for registration tomorrow. Um, when we, and, and when we, and we officially begin the, the classes on July, July 25th. So July 25th is the first official day of classes. Uh, and the classes will be for six weeks. I cannot wait for you to join the course and see for yourself how this one tool, um, and living in alignment with your feminine current is going to blow your mind and change your life. I, I, this I can almost, I think I can guarantee. I think I can. I've done it in my own life. I've done it with my clients and it's really powerful and I want you to have it, okay? So I cannot wait to share it with you. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm, I've been getting many, many DMs and personal messages on Facebook and emails and I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you to um, have a, you know, a, the doors open and invite you into the course. Um, I think this is a really revol revolutionary health program for women. I haven't seen anything like it out there and I think it is really, really going to change your life. So cannot wait to share it. Um, and until then, I'm, I'm sending you off with much, much love and many, many blessings and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <music> Thank you for listening to the Health Begins With Moms show. I love hearing from you, so please post your comments and questions over at healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash podcast. If you love the show, please share it on social media and in your real life with other moms who might enjoy this content. And if you have a burning question or topic you'd like me to hit on the show, just drop me a line at Dorit at healthbeginswithmom.com. And if you love this show and really want to support it, please go to iTunes, write a review, and subscribe. 
Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you next time. Much love and many blessings.